Hey guys! <laughs> so today we're with Jun and he's gonna show us a Chinese pork belly recipe called Steamed pork with salted dry mustard cabbage. Mei gan cai kou rou. Okay, so the things you're gonna need for this recipe is pork belly. You wanna pick one that is low in fat and you wanna cube it into large pieces. The next thing that you need is the salted dried mustard cabbage. This is homemade from June's parents in China and this vegetable is really popular in his area. Then you'll need sugar and mirum or any kind of cooking wine. We chose the Korean mirum, which has a different flavor than traditional American white wine, so make sure that you either get Chinese or Korean. Next, you will need dark soy sauce. This is gonna add color and flavor to the pork belly. And finally, you'll need light soy sauce. This also adds flavor and is less salty than the dark soy sauce. Okay, so that's everything you're gonna need, so let's get started. Okay, so the first step is to prepare the pork. We cut the pork into large chunks and then put it into the wok and fill it up with water up to just covering the pork belly. Next, we'll add mirum and then bring the pork belly to a boil. Check to see if the pork belly is finished cooking by inserting a chopstick. Once the pork belly is done cooking, remove it from the water and put it on a separate plate. The next step is to brush the dark soy sauce onto the fat part of the pork belly. This adds the color and flavor to the fat. The next step is to prepare the pork belly for steaming. So what we're doing now is we're putting the pork belly fat side down into the aluminum foil bowl. After this, we will top it with the salted mustard cabbage, enough to cover the whole area of the pork belly on top. Then we'll add the dark and light soy sauce and sugar. Finally, place the aluminum foil bowl into a steamer and place it onto the stove. Bring it to a boil and then turn it down to medium for about an hour and a half. After an hour and a half, check that the pork belly is cooked all the way through with a chopstick. It's finally time to flip. Flip the pork belly into a new bowl that you're gonna serve it in, and then it's all ready. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna test this food out now, and these are also two other side dishes that we paired with it. So in the future, I'll be showing you a video about how to make those also. So let's you wanna try. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's really good. So I wanted you to tell me why these are paired with that. Um, actually, there's no reason. No reason. <laughs> so I like them together. So. I think they go good together because this is more bland yeah. and then this is more fresh mm. compared to the saltiness yeah. of that. And the color. And the color, that's yeah. true too. Okay, so I want to talk about the dried vegetable. Can you tell me the name of the dried vegetable again? Uh, it's kind of cabbage, but I don't know exactly what's the name in English. What's it in Chinese? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> My parents would know. but. Even they know it's in our dialect, not in Mandarin. Oh. So yeah, it's the hardest part to explain. So it's in the dialect. Yeah. Mei gan cai, mei gan cai. I was gonna ask where are these vegetables famous? Uh, so it's quite commonly used in the southeast part of China. So. How are they usually prepared? Like soup. Stir fry. <coughs> mm, so uh, typically uh, with pork belly. Oh, okay. Yeah, pork and belly. sometimes with green beans and uh, some soups. Uh, sometimes we will just steam the veggies for breakfast. Really? Yeah, with rice. Oh, that sounds good. It's salty and the rice itself it tastes nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you said they can last up to a year. Yeah. Vegetables More than a year. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you just store them? Store them in a dry and a dark environment. Okay. Yeah. So prep time is probably like five minutes. But cooking it, it took us about... Two hours. I think a little bit more than two hours. Like two and a half hours it took to do the prep time? Do you know how they make them? Uh, probably... This is just my guess. So probably they 
cooked it and they dry it under the sun. Oh, okay, so they cook salt. it. Ah. Yeah. So you can eat them before before cooking. You can eat those. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting, actually. It's like it's already cooked. Ah. Yeah. Actually, there are two uh, two versions of it. This is the one version of the veggies. It's mm -hmm. only cabbage. The other version with baby bamboo shoot. Oh. That will taste much better. That sounds yes, awesome. But right? I don't have it right now, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and this recipe. And I want to say thanks to June for coming yeah. and spending time to make this recipe with us. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below if you ever tried these kinds of dried vegetables or if you also have heard about this kind of dried vegetable that has like a natural salty flavor. Okay, we hope you have a nice day. Yeah, Bye. have a nice day. Bye. <laughs>